up a, a, a while the breath is warm in my body happened here at New Jerusalem. If, if Sister Henderson and I got to come in here, and I know Dr. Sadler will come and preach to us. Amen. We, we, we will have revival service. And I'm persuaded that we're going to have at least uh, more, certainly more people than that. But uh, saints, let, let's not grow weary in well-doing. Let's not us grow weary. And there's no greater strength for the times for being able to deal with the times that we are living in than to come before the Lord and place our petition before the Lord and be encouraged by the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God is still the best hope that we have in this life that we live in. The Word of God is the only way to salvation. The Word of God is the only hope that this world has. With all the craziness that's going around about uh, folks doing this in the name of their God and that in the name of their God. We need to be reminded just as often as we can that there's only one name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. There's no other name given, no other name given among men. You better come out and hear about Jesus just as often as you can. You better stand ready with your testimony about Amen. Jesus at every opportunity. What is that hope that you have? Why aren't you distressed? Why aren't you cast down? Because I, I know Jesus. Amen. Jesus is my light and my salvation. That Psalm 27 said, What the Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So let us rejoice. Let us rejoice, saints, as we continue on in our service and we come to the time of our offering. And I don't mean to steal your joy, but the offering time is a time even also when we shall rejoice. It says, uh, uh, let, us, let us give with a cheerful heart. Amen. And so, uh, Minister White, if you will uh, give us some music, uh, Minister uh, Deacon. Harris is going to go around and receive the offering from those who are prepared to give tonight. And certainly uh, it pays to, to give unto the Lord. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. And the same measure with which he measure, it shall be measured to you again. He who sow it sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he who sow it bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, nor necessity, God loves the cheerful giver. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But we say, wherein have we robbed thee, Lord? You have robbed me in tithes and in offerings. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in mine house. Test me now herewith, saith the Lord, if I will not open up the windows of heaven. Forty hours, forty hours. I shall not have room enough to receive it. What does thou have, O man, that thou didst not first receive? And if thou didst receive it, why boastest thou? Freely we have received, freely give. All things come from thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. The ground of a certain man brought forth plentifully, Scripture says, and he thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store all my goods. And he said in his heart, This will I do. Pull down my old barns. I'll build new. The 
hell will I bestow all my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, take thine ease. For thou hast much good stored up for many days. But God said, thou fool, this night thy soul is required of thee. And who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Let us all stand as Deacon Harris leads us in our offertory of prayer. Amen. Almost live in heaven, Father, we give honor and thanks to you. Father, thank you, God, Father God, we say God. thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Father, bless this offering. Bless those who had to give and bless those who did. Lord, bless me as in your darling son tonight. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All things. All things come of the stranger to us. He has uh, been blessing our souls for the past several years and uh, he he doesn't get any ways tired about it and neither do we. And we just thank God for his his commitment, thank God for his sacrifice. Uh, Dr. Sadler is a, a very busy pastor. He is involved in uh, many deliberate bodies in the Baptist community. He's a former uh, president of the Baptist Ministers Conference of DC and vicinity. I think he currently serves as, he's a first or second vice president of the, of the convention. Uh, what is that? Or, Okay, okay, he, he's not in that capacity anymore. Hey, now I know he, he, he led the Educational Congress of the Baptist Convention in D.C. for uh, many years. Uh, he has uh, been the pastor of the uh, New Morningstar Baptist Church for uh, the past 20, 22 years. Amen. Right about the time I was born. Amen. <laughs> so, 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 so we, we, we just uh, thank the Lord for Pastor Sadler. He is a trustee of the, um, the Washington Baptist Seminary, a very faithful trustee and very dependable trustee. He serves on the uh, board of trustees of the Stoddard Baptist Nursing Home. Uh, Dr. Sadler is married and has uh, one son, Demetrius, right? Amen. And so, uh, without any further ado, uh, the, following another selection by our choir, the next voice that you would hear will be our revivalist for this week, Pastor Donald K. Sadler. Uh, Minister Campbell, if you could get the lapel mic for us uh, and uh, make sure that he. he um, he has his mic, uh, and so uh, Dr. Sadler, uh, when he gets up, if he's got a singing group that he uh, wants to come forth, he will do that in his own way. You're going to sing one song and then you'll come up. Huh? You just said it will sing a song and you'll come up. Okay. okay. Let's just say amen. 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 We honor and and magnify the presence of Almighty God on this Wednesday evening as we come to be a part of uh, this spring revival. Uh, to your honor and esteem, uh, Pastor uh, Thomas J. Henderson, to uh, the pulpit uh, associates, uh, my good friend and brother, Reverend Campbell, Reverend White, and to 
uh, Brother Eugene Hunt, and to all the officers, members, and friends. Mm -hmm. We're grateful for this opportunity. There are many persons that could stand in this place, but I'm uh, so thrilled that you thought and have asked us to come and, and, and share. I was uh, uh, trying to uh, communicate with our uh, musician and director. I know she had another occasion, and I'm not. I'm good. She's good tonight. All right. <laughs> and that's, that's faithfulness. Amen. 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 I'll get her in a minute. I want to get her out of the way. So uh, she's going to give us selection, and uh, we're going to have a good time in the Lord, aren't we? Amen. 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 One of the most important things Amen. is that. We pray for the revival. Yes. Yes. We get into the yes. revival. That we don't sit on the sidelines attempting and waiting for the revival yes. to come. Amen. Uh, but Amen. just like uh, jumping rope, you can't get in it until you jump into it. Amen? Yes. Amen. 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 So begin praying for us for our first uh, sermon of the week. And um, we ask that you would pray for me. And I'm going to ask that you would pray uh, each day. Uh, at 12 noon, uh, somewhere or another. Even if you're riding in your car, you can ask God's blessing upon you. Amen. 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 At 12 noon. Amen. 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 Ask to play for the revival. I, I want to share for your consideration of past the scripture, and then after that, we will uh, have music from our music ministry. Mm -hmm. In the book of John, in the 20th chapter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 20th chapter mm -hmm. of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as recorded by Apostle John you'll find these words uh, beginning uh, at the 20th verse the verse 20, 21 and 22 and it begins reading as follows and when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus unto them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even I send you. Verse 22 and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Amen. This Amen. ends the reading, the hearing, the teaching, the preaching, and application of God's holy and righteous word. Mm -hmm. uh, make a note, we want to talk this night uh, from the subject, What do you do after Easter? <laughs> yeah. right. What do you do? Well, after Easter. Amen. I tell you, I come over here, y'all have more fangled things, new fangled stuff over here, technology. And I, I got to say it because, you know, the Lord be putting stuff on you. I just told my son earlier today, and I felt pretty good about myself being as old as I am and kind of fitting into technology. And I felt really pretty good about myself. Then I come here and say, Lord, they got a new keyboard. And I ain't never seen how you convert the keyboard with the organ pedals on the bar. I said, Lord, have mercy. So he just humbled me because now I feel a little out of place because I'm not, I've not seen this before. I either don't go nowhere. You guys are really on top of your technology. It probably is the first one. I don't go nowhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. Straight. 